Hey guys, and welcome to my reaction to His Dark Materials. This is the penultimate episode of this season. So I'm excited uh, to watch it. Um, sorry that this is a day late or a week early, depending on who you are. <laughs> um, but uh, a day later than I would normally post um, these reactions. Um, I had technical difficulties yesterday and I just couldn't um, record it in time and, and get it all edited for you guys. So uh, this is a, a day later. Um, I, oh, man, I'm nervous. Everybody is, is I think, heading together. I, I feel like this is building up to something really, really big and I'm just really scared about it in general. Um, I care a lot about a lot of these characters, so yeah, I'm just nervous. But anyway, let's get into it. Angels. They can't be. They haven't made themselves visible for thousands of years. And we will return to our world and destroy the Magisterium together. Okay. Oh my god. I'm not sure we can help him, Lyra. Oh my god. Man, I, I, I wasn't really expecting that. Oh my god. Lyra. Go. Yeah, they're, they do not like you. Holy shit. I see you. Oh no. Oh, shit. Wow. Was it your knife that made that? Show them all. Well, I don't... You trust me, you trust her. You never met her. And if you think you can keep anything from her, you can't. Okay. That's a fair point. I get why he doesn't trust anybody though, you know what I mean? <laughs> what does this edge cut? Everything. Nothing. I'm with you, Will. I wouldn't trust anybody. <laughs> you think you can fly through it? Just make yourself comfortable, Mr. Tommy! We're going in! Oh, wow. Oh girl, girl, I, I'm nervous for you. Like specters flying about and shit. <gasps> Whoa. Maybe they're right. My father. What does Lily Gilmer to say to him? He can do this. Oh. I'll see Lithium to where my father is. What world he's in. Where we might find him. He's close. Oh no, no, he's really not gonna wanna leave. I mean, I... So this is a new world. Oh my goodness. But they can fly. But you cannot. Oh, but I can. I summoned you. Here I am. Flying. I'm human, uh, but I've learned a few things. Ask how close my father is. There's no point getting you to your father if when we get you there you're half dead. No, you're using me as an excuse to stop. What? I'm sorry. I, I know you wouldn't use me as an excuse to stop. College accepted. Oh, well. You want the knife, don't you? Uh, he's like, I am not excited about all of this. Hello, I'm Mary. Do you want something to eat? Oh my 
God, you are too precious for this world. And other worlds. Not from this world. By you. By that Lyra girl. Lyra? You've seen Lyra? We're trying to kill her, but she escaped. Was that wrong? Yes. Can I have a hug? Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. You can make us have baths and tell us what to do and all that. Oh my God, this is just breaking my heart. I've been sent here to- Oh God. Wait. You shouldn't be here alone. I'll bring you to your adults. Oh, look at her. My son, let me help. Yeah, can you magic us up some fire? Huh. <laughs> my task is to protect you, Lyra. If that means protecting you and Will, then so be it. Even though this world makes me very uneasy. We will help you find Will's father. But we need to stop Will's bleeding first. Okay, oh, oh. Keep going up. That's oh. all it says. Well, I guess that is kind of accurate, but you know. Stay close to him. Oh. We feel safe here. Mrs. Coulter is looking for her child. The girl has gone into another world. What was the question? Who is Lyra Balakwa? And I've discovered the girl has another name. The name is her destiny. It foretells she will be in the position of the one who brought about her downfall, the cause of all sin. What is the child's name? Speak the name. Oh man, it cuts right you know there. This place. This is really terrifying. Oh, okay. They don't sever these specters. It's stronger than that, whatever they do. We will do whatever is necessary. We have sent troops through the anomaly to face that threat. And the first. Oh, partake fuck. of this great sacrifice, Lyra Black. Oh shit! There's a prophecy surrounding Lyra, a prophecy that includes a boy who must travel with her. Don't lose sight of the fact that she's your responsibility too. She must be protected. Hmm. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah, he's a <laughs> Sorry. He's like, uh, fuck that. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, is she controlling them or is she just like making them go away? Holy shit. Uh oh. We should land. Larry could be down there in danger. Spectres would seize us immediately. If we die, we'll burn out. And we can do no further good. Oh, he just wants to protect Lyra. It's cute, though. Oh! Like, yeah, she's definitely controlling. Fuck off with this. That's not a good thing. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, like, it's, like, impressive and badass, but, like, it's not a good thing. Oh, oh. Getting very close. I'm getting a little close there. I've never seen children act like that before. Oh, well. You had the answer to everything. Oh. I could go to school. 
They're friends. I didn't trust anyone. Till you met me. Yeah. Aww. Cute. Well, they consume what makes us human. So I just hid that from them. I suppress myself. An equal to share it all with. Oh, wow. Oh. You think me are equal? Boy. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, it, it happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. It would have been so much easier if you told me about Lyra when you first had her. <gasps> you did so much for me. Don't think I don't know that. Oreo, I don't need you. You would only hold me back. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Shit. I not know have you ever been my equal. Oh, my God. Oh, this is oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a fucking situation too. It's growing more urgent. You need a store. Is that all you can summon? Weather. You're a shaman. Shaman us up some big guns and some ironclad. <laughs> He's about to fuck shit up. He's about to fuck shit up. quite an episode we have, there was a lot going on in this episode I do have to say the one thing that I do want to say about this season is that there's been a lot of build-up to whatever I, I believe this final episode is going to be um, so I hope they pull it off well I think they will um, but it, it's a lot of um, you know uh, speaking about Lyra's destiny and and um which you know I don't necessarily think will come to fruition in in the finale I think everybody's going to collide in the finale and and there's going to be some sort of battle or like just I mean conflict of some kind right because everybody's sort of you know making their way to the same place um and the Magisterium having a very clear mission to kill Lyra and uh, a lot of other people having a clear mission to protect her. So I'm, I'm just, I'm very curious as to how this is all going to sort of come to head in, in the finale. And there's been a lot of build up all to this, I think, this episode um, that we're gonna watch next week. Um, or the week after that, if you're <laughs> um, watching on HBO. But um, I, th this is interesting. I liked this episode. There was obviously some significant moments, which I'm gonna um, get to in a moment. Um, I liked kind of the 
Lyra and Will both kind of learned a little bit about each other, which I really liked in this episode. Lyra sort of, you know, Will opened up to her about kind of the bullying and, and why he doesn't really trust people. I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. Um, and I love that he trusts Lyra and that they're having this this really strong bond. Um, it's quite it's quite lovely to see um, them have this sort of trust for each other and for her to go to bat for him and everything like that. Um, and and also um, Serafina, I believe that you know, kind of telling him about you know what a little bit about Lyra and more so, I mean, more so her, the destiny, prophecy, more side of things. But um, I really kind of loved that. I loved that they, they kind of both sort of learned a little bit more about each other and probably uh, solidified their, their bond a little bit more. That That's kind of really great. Um, and... I've really enjoyed their relationship, um, and I'm I'm very happy that it seems like the show is done. I mean, and I, I, I don't know the source material, so I can't speak to how accurate their relationship is to the books or anything like that. But I, in my opinion of just watching it, I I like how they've sort of um, we're able to establish a fairly strong uh, relationship between these two and have taken the time to sort of flesh it out a little bit. Um, I talked about that within the premiere that I liked how they kind of really focused on that a lot um, and and have focused on it as, as, you know, time has gone on. And sure, they have their differences and there's things that are a little, a little different. Um, but it's quite... Uh, it, it's that's been quite lovely to see okay um i adore mary adore adore she's so sweet and she's so you know and and obviously she wants to help these kids that she found even though she's kind of on a mission that she doesn't even fully understand i don't even fully understand you know what i mean like she's taking a lot of like on faith here and she's just trying to do the right thing i think that that's what's really really wonderful she's a very compassionate person we've we've seen that but like i just love the fact that she seems to just sort of want to do the right thing even though she doesn't entirely understand everything going on she's still trying her best to to do what's right um i loved the kind of thing of the the angels sort of um i assume protecting her from the specters i think that that's really really interesting um so i like that a lot um I, I really liked, um, I, I've been really enjoying the scenes between Lee and, um, Joffrey. I feel like I never say that right. The, well, what he calls, oh, sorry, uh, what he calls himself with, with Lee, but I, like, I really like those scenes a lot. I like their dynamic a lot. Um, and it seems like they're kind of two protectors for, you know, um, which, I, you know, let's be clear. I don't think Lyra and, and Will really need protectors, but it's kind of nice that um, they're hopefully on their way to sort of help things. I will say if Lee, if Lee dies, I'm fucking over it. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want... I mean, I like a lot of characters and I don't want a lot of people to die, but I feel like he's at the top of my list of like, you know, since I've lost the real one, the, you know, my number one, um, like, I, I feel like he's kind of skyrocketed as my favorite character at this moment. Again, doesn't, doesn't take away from Roger. Roger's always number one. Um, but I, I really... 
I love I, I love him so much and I just I feel like this season has made me even love him even more because of the fact that he's just like genuinely he's just like on this mission to just protect Lyra and not necessarily because she's so important she's like like she is and everything but just because he he cares for her mm. It like really gets me. It's really emotional. So I, I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to see more of them. I hope they didn't crash land and die. I feel like they didn't, you know, but that was, that was pretty intense ending. Um, but I like seeing their dynamics together. I like, I like that a lot. Um, so they're really cool. Um, and then obviously I feel like I have to end these thoughts with Boreal and uh, Mrs. Coulter, like, can I just, uh, uh, mm. see, you know, what's really interesting about Mrs. Well, there's a lot of things interesting about Mrs. Coulter. She's a very complex character and we've established that and there's a lot going on that even, I don't even think I know fully, right? Like everything that's going on in her head. And, um, there was a very significant moment at the end with the holding the hand over the, the flame and saying strength is salvation or, or something like that. I think that's what she said, which I think in some regards definitely um, explains a lot about her character and like her, her idea of strength it may not be the same as other people's ideas, but like her idea of strength is a little bit is is there's there's a reason um i think there's many reasons why she uh she practices this insane self-control that is also kind of self-harm and you know obviously she's used to pain and and we've established all of that and and, and everything like that but but not only that i think she she uh, thinks that you know this type of strength in her mind I think she thinks being vulnerable is not strong and, and um, I mean I don't necessarily agree with that but like you know like I think that that's how she views it and um so I think the more that she's able to be self-disciplined in self Harming? I don't, it's so weird. Like, I mean, I feel like you guys know what I'm trying to say, but like, it's so hard to put into words. But like, um, you know, I think she thinks that she's, you know, um, kind of doing the right thing for, for herself and, and her beliefs. Um, so that's really interesting. Obviously the whole, I will say if anybody was going to be able to uh, control and do all of that and compartmentalize, I guess, emotions and like whatever it was that, that got her to control the specters, like I, it, I, it doesn't surprise me that it's her. I think it's the most likely that it would be her um, given everything that she's done and being able to be away from her demon and you know, you know stuff like that. like. Um, but that was really intense and really crazy. Um, and I think that she's the wild card of this last episode. I kind of got a good idea where everybody else's motives and where they're falling on like whatever this conflict or whatever the fuck is going to happen in the last. I don't know if it's going to be a battle. I don't know if it's going to be like just craziness. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But whatever is going to happen, right, in the finale, I think that, you know, she's a bit of the, I don't really know where she's going to land on this. Um, okay, let's talk about Boreal. Let's talk, let's fucking talk, because here's the thing about his character that I just do, I, it's crazy. Do I love when I see him? Sometimes not, because I know there's a snake in there. I was trying so hard to not like, like have him, it's just, it's a, it's a phobia, guys. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, I hate 
that whenever I see a snake on screen, I have this like like visceral reaction to it. But I was trying because I once I was realizing that this is kind of a more serious scene, I was trying to not like freak out too much. Uh, um, it was tough. It was tough. Um, but what I do have to say, I knew I as soon as he said, "Oh, you're my equal. I think of you as my equal." It was such a fascinating. And at that moment, I knew exactly. She was like, "Bitch, you're not my equal." But I loved the nuances of all of that because he genuinely, you know, he's let's let's be real. He's pretty sexist. Um, I don't know if that's just because of like. That just being so heavily influenced by his world and the magisterium and like, like all of that stuff, right? But like, he's super sexist. And like, he's like, he just comments that he made. And I, I mean, we know this, right? So I think he thinks that it's like an honor for her, for him to say like, Oh, we're equals, you know, like he's looking that she's probably below him, but like, don't worry, you're on my level now, you know, like he's trying to like butter her up in that sense, whereas she is literally reading that whole situation as like, I stop, you are not my equal, I am above you. Um, the your motivations and your uh, desires from what she could see in 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 the other world of, of of his collections and stuff was was not you know she's like you don't you don't you're not on my level at all it's all very small um, or maybe materialistic or you know like there's just um, she just didn't think that. He was on her level. Um, sorry that you hear stuff in the background. I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> Watch her going on. Um, but yeah, I really, really... Mm -hmm. That was really, really interesting. Um, and I, I, I loved that whole scene. Um, but I, what I do want to say about Boreal or the actor who I'm blanking on his name at this moment... He did a fantastic job. He did a fantastic job. I was not expecting him to go. I mean, I guess it didn't surprise me. To, well, it's it's so hard. Like, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that she would do that, but I thought maybe like she would do that like a little bit later on or something like that. Does that make sense? Like, I I wasn't really expecting to say like goodbye to him in this. I mean, I'm I'm thankful that we don't, we no longer have the snake that you know that I have to be honest but what I do want to say I felt like the actor did such a good job like obviously he's a villain you're not supposed to like love him or root for him or anything like that but he did a really good job at giving a very very um intriguing performance for this character because I, especially between their interactions and everything like that, um, in this season in particular, I was really interested into where he was coming from and what his motivations were. And the way that he, he has kind of a, he has this sort of mightier than thou vibe, right? But it's not like shoved down your throat. Does that make sense? Like the way that this actor played him, I feel like there's there would be, um, and probably how the writers wrote him as well, I feel like there would be a big chance that there was, he would have this sort of, um, he would come off like super smug and obnoxious, and though I guess he kind of is in some, he, he played it a lot more stoic, a lot more softer. So it wasn't really like thrown in your face by how like, you know, misogynistic or like whatever he, he was. It was a very kind of understated, but I think very effective performance. I really liked the actor. Um, 
again, thankful that no more snake. So I'm happy about that. But um, I did genuinely um, like the actor. Um, so I just wanted to say that. All right. I guess we're going to be going into um, the finale next week. And I am not ready, guys. <laughs> I am not ready because I feel like it's, it's going to get bad. But um, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, I, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.